committee. I'd like to thank you all for holding these uh, forums. It's so important to take and, and, and receive all the feedback from public and on sides of the issue. Uh, my name is Mike McLeod, and I'm a parent of a seventh grade elementary school student. And uh, most of the uh, pros and cons of urging people who are much more expert in the subject than me, so I am just going to read to you the uh, proclamation from our town of Hanson, the results of our town meeting on May 4th. This is a letter to the Honorable Charles D. Baker, Governor, State House. Reference comment for Dear Governor Baker, please be advised that on Monday, May 4th, 2015, the voters for Hanson affirmatively voted a non binding referendum to discontinue the use of common core state standards in the associated testing known as PARC within the Whitney Hanson Regional School District. In return to using the pre 2009 Massachusetts standards in ELA, math, science, technology, History, social science, and the associated testing known as MCAS. A certified copy of the vote is attached. On behalf of the residents of Hanson, the Board of Selectmen respectfully requests your support and that of your administration to discontinue the use of Common Core. Thank you for your kind consideration of the actions of the citizens of Hanson. Good evening. My name is Brian Zanson, and I am a witness selector for the last 12 years. On May 4th, at our town meeting, we also had a non-binding referendum. And the town voted by a standing vote, a non-binding referendum to discontinue the use of common core state standards and the associated testing known as PARC within the Whitman Hanson Regional School District and return to using the pre-2009 Massachusetts standards in ELA, math, science, technology, history, social science, and the associated testing known as MCAS or take any other action relative thereto. It passed and this letter I have here was sent to the secretary. I hope you got it. You'll get it tonight. official what I had to do. Now I'm going to talk to you from my heart. I've been in Whitman since 1960. I've been a selectman for the last 12 years. I think I have my finger on the pulse of our community. Our community right now is desperately hurting financially and through this process of testing mentally. This is based on the uh, person who just testified about the small children. I'm not an educator, I'm not a school administrator, I'm an average joke. Those parents have been coming to me and our other selectmen in town, frustrated, crushed by what it's doing to their children. It just seems to me that if parent after parent are coming to the town fathers for relief. We don't really control Whitman Hanson Regional. They are their own entity. I'm not speaking on their behalf. But it seems to me that if these folks are hurting that bad over, the, over these issues, it can't be right. Th this is the human aspect of this. Now, I, I uh, totally agree with the honorable representatives that were here and what they, they said about their communities. Oral's district is more like what we have in Representative Deal's district, where I'm from. We had to raise money at our town meeting just to upgrade technology. And we had to cut salaries, cut budgets, just to get this money, just to get upgraded. And we did it through budget cuts, and through free cash, if you can believe that wording is ridiculous, but the, the town of Hanson did it through a bond. We did it differently, but we did it. 
it was approximately one point one, one point two million dollars for one point four five upgrade to technology just to get even. It's a blue collar community. They just can't handle it. And and it crushes me being a person who grew up in this community, went to these schools, and to have families coming to me crushed because they think their children's future is going down the toilet. And I'll give you an example of of how children can stutter through school and still succeed because my son did. My son, who's now 35 years old, went to uh, Whitman Hanson. He did not graduate. He did not fit in. He could not do these tests. And mind you, these are not the tests we're talking about tonight. So he just left school, did his own thing. He floundered a bit. They had a band. They did all what kids do that age when they're not going to college. It was very difficult. He decided to get his life together, moved to California, got his associate's degree on his own at UC San Diego. Proceeded to get his bachelor's degree at UC Berkeley and is now working in San Francisco, making much more money than I do. <laughs> so it's a proof that kids can respond but you've got to give them time. You've got to give them some compassion, sympathy. You can't do it overnight. Technology is the way to go, and I understand that. But when it's ripping the hearts out of the community, that's not good. I urge you to not accept this common core in part. And I urge everyone in the room to send letters to your representatives, your senators, your selectmen, Secretary of the board, and if you don't get any response, send a letter to Governor Baker and ask him to use his executive pen to discontinue this right now. submit written testimony and if you have budget information that goes with those answers that you'd like to submit from either town uh, please do you can also email us um, doe at doe.mass.edu 